Hi friends, here in this video, I'll explain the concept of friction. So, let's get started. In order to explain friction, here I am drawing a simple diagram. Here there is a block which is kept on a rough surface. And when we look at this block and the contact between the surface at a microscopic level, So, when we see it at the microscopic level, then what is the observation here? We would be seeing that there is an interlocking pattern between the surface, this is the surface and here is the block. So, it means there is an interlock between the block and the surface and because of this interlocking, the block would be stationary or it would be at rest and that is, the, that is called as the equilibrium condition. Now, the moment we try to apply a force or try to pull this block by applying a pull capital P, then there is a force which is acting in the opposite direction to this pull and that force is called as the frictional force also called as the frictional resistance or it is also called as the force of friction. So it means whenever we are trying to move any object then as per our direction of motion we are going to encounter an opposite force to motion and that opposition or the resistance to motion is called as the force of friction. So as we can see here when we are trying to pull the block towards right there is a friction force which is acting towards left and this friction force would try to reduce the velocity of motion that is it would offer the resistance to this block and then there would be loss of energy in this block when we are trying to pull it. It means the amount of pull which is required would go on increasing considerably and proportional to it is the friction force that is if we increase this pull the friction force also increases and there will be sliding friction between both the block and the surfaces and in summary or in short we can say that friction is the interlocking between the block and the surface that is if the surface is smooth then there would be less amount of interlocking and the block can slide freely but since if the surface is rough there would be more amount of interlocking and because of that the body or the block is going to experience more amount of friction and there are some cases in which friction is desired like for example friction with the help of friction we can we can walk without slipping because of friction here i am mentioning some of the good aspects of friction or we can say the advantages of friction so the first advantage is we can walk without slipping then the next advantage is due to this interlocking we can hammer nails into the wall or any of the surface because in order to hammer the nail with the help of a hammer we have to have friction if friction is not there then we cannot hammer the nail into the wall then friction is even desired while having contact which is called as grip with the road surface that is when the vehicle is moving onto the road surface at that time 
there needs to be grip between the road surface then only the vehicle can move properly otherwise it would be skidding if there is less amount of grip then due to friction it also helps in the braking of the vehicle that is if we want to stop the vehicle at that time also friction frictional force plays an important role so these are the some advantages apart from there there are more advantages but here i have just summarized some of the advantages then there are many disadvantages of friction as well one of the most common disadvantage of friction is that there is more wear and tear between the parts because since they are sliding here i have shown an example of sliding friction friction can also be rolling that is if one of the member is rolling over another that can be rolling friction so sliding friction as compared to rolling is of greater amount so there will be more amount of wear and tear between the moving parts then due to friction there is huge amount of energy lost that is more energy would be spent in overcoming the friction and this friction is even encountered or it is even faced by the fluids as well when they are flowing from a, into a pipeline at that time also the wall of the pipeline or the boundary of the pipeline offers friction then so there is huge amount of power lost or energy lost the last point which i am mentioning is that fuel consumption that is if we are talking about engine inside the engine we have piston and cylinder so due to the sliding motion of the piston there is more amount of friction and due to friction the amount of fuel consumption also increases so in short that was a quick summary of what is meant by friction at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching